Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I've got Boxy Charm for April. This is the base box. Did it get any better? Is it still kind of sucking? Just stay tuned and I'll get into all of it. Hey guys, welcome back. So we're getting into this Boxy Charm base box. Quick side note without showing my address here. There's like a little scan thingy on here now. I don't know what that's about. But here's our little base box. It's got the boxy charm stuff and it's right inside. We've got the black foam. And this month, uh, yeah. first off, I didn't get my choice item. Anybody else have that problem? Comment down below. Did you have that issue? I did email them and they gave me extra charms, which I don't understand. But let's see. So we got something for the makeup eraser as far as that. And then we got our boxy charm here, which I do love that they use this heavier cardstock and that they do have their artwork on here. And then on the back, it's got boxy perks, misguided, cute clothes, seek wearers, next level fashion from $12, score 55% off your next order with boxy 55. Hmm, that actually, it's kind of cute. And then we've got our info on the products that we got. And then we got some info for Lux. They're talking about some spoilers here. It looks like there's a Tarte palette. There's the Kylie skin. And then there's a Swell uh, water jug so far. Oh, I'm not impressed. And then Boxy Pop-Up is going to be Tuesday, May the 12th. And it looks like they're featuring the Pretty Rich benefits and Boxy Bay stuff. So there's that stuff. And I'll hold that up for a minute so you guys can see that. All right, so let's get into what we got. Guys, this month was trash for me. So first off, we got this, the Iconic London Illuminator. I don't understand these liquid illuminators, especially in these super dark gold tones. They don't look good on like 90% of people who wear them. They end up accentuating everything on your face. Stop sending this shit. It's bad. Just don't do it. Speaking of bad. Oh, by the way. Let me be a proper YouTuber and talk about this. Iconic, that thing was $41. $41 for crap. Okay. All right, next we got from Lavish Cosmetics, a five-piece neon eye brush collection, which is $30. Looks like we've got a double-sided spoolie, which I can always use a spoolie, and this little, you know, eyeliner deal here. We got a blending brush. We got... This is really good for like inner corner. Boop, boop action. This would be good to put on your lid color. And then this is a liner as well. But guys, these are like the cheapest brushes I have ever seen in my life. I mean, I guess if you like the colors of them, they're not bad. I really like this orange one, but other than that, no. By the way, you guys, Teddy is having a crap fit in there. If you've heard, he wants to be in the video, but my son won't let him be. There's a thing going on. You should vote down below. Should Teddy be allowed in the video? Say yes or no. I'll wait. Hmm. Oh, wait. This isn't in real time. No, I'm only kidding. What do you say? Should we let him in the video? We might be having a guest star in a minute. All right. So the next thing that we got was from LMS, the Superfood Chica Calm Cleansing Foam. They're saying this was my choice. This is not what I picked at all. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got a video crasher. Hi, Teddy Bear. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Teddy really doesn't like when I wear makeup. You know why? Because he likes to lick it all off. But he does give the world's best Teddy hugs. I know you guys have loved seeing Teddy Bear last time, so he's here again. Yes, he's here again. Teddy Bear is my little newfie poo. He is a little over a year old and he is totally enjoying quarantine life. Aren't you, Teddy? Yeah, you enjoying quarantine life and 10,000 hugs? 10,000 walks, what do you think? Maybe? Not so much? Teddy Bear. All right, well, he made his little intro. I'm gonna let him down. All right, back to the box. So, we got from Elemis this super food Chica Calm. And you know what? Let's see here. This is $32 and it does have micellar water in here. I'm not saying this is a bad product. I'm just saying it's not what I picked. I wanted the Zueva palette. I like doing eyeshadow palettes so I can do looks for you guys. But I mean, I'll get use of this. I just, it's not what I picked. So it's, you know, because it's not what I picked, it's not what I wanted. 
Anyway, moving on. All right, so next we got the makeup eraser, and this is a sunset. And it's supposed to equal 3,600 makeup wipes. I did try using this when I was taking pictures, guys. It is super soft, by the way. It's like stupid soft, but it doesn't take anything off, like at all. I guess you gotta wet it, but I just, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. I think it might be a little janky. I'll try it, but so far I've not been thoroughly impressed. And that is $22 for a piece of cloth, okay. And the last thing we got was from the Porefessional, the Benefit Primer. This is my favorite primer. For real, guys, I always have my Benefit Primer around. So I am super excited to get this as I knock everything over. I am super excited to get this. Um, and this kind of saved the box for me. This is $32. I paid $25 for the box. So getting this for $25 made the rest of it worth it for me personally because this happens to be my favorite primer. But BoxyCharm, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? I don't know what went wrong. Did... Do, did the quarantine mess you up? Because this, this, this is a no for me. There was one good thing and everything else was eh or bad. So not that excited. So guys, that was the boxy charm for April. If I did a good job, go ahead and give me a like. If I did a bad job, go ahead and give me a dislike. Comment down below. What did you like about it? What did you dislike about it? Let's get a conversation going. You know that Joe watches our videos. You know what Boxy Charm social media watches our videos. They see your comments. So let's use our platform. I will also be posting a review of this and the premium on my lifestyle.ella Instagram page and lifestyle by Ella Facebook page. Until the next time, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.